I know that you wear a lot of hats in the show. You, uh, you know, you act, you write. What role do you enjoy the most? I think that's a great question. I think I love writing. I love that it's something that we do together, that it's where all the ideas generate, that anything is possible in that moment, and that, you know, once you're directing, once you're editing, you're working with this sort of specific and finite material, but in the world of writing, it's like so cracked wide open. And I love what a connective activity it is for us. Right, and what, what, what do you enjoy, you know, what part of producing for this show do you enjoy? Like, I think I like the writing the best, too. I mean, I really do, it's so much fun. But I also, you know, we have an incredible crew. We work with just this incredible crew, and our actors are really, really special and professional and awesome. And I like being a manager of all those people and and having the same people come back year after year and it's like a big family. And what did, what did you guys learn being part of this show for so many years? Everything. Or nothing? That's a great question. Um, what have we learned? We've either changed radically or we're exactly the same. No, we. Well, we've learned a lot about managing people, mm -hmm. I think, and we all have learned a lot about the kind of work we like to make. And Girls has been such an incredibly positive experience that now we just want to push the ball forward for women in a million other ways. So we've started a production company called The Casual Romance, and that's sort of our mandate. Yeah, and our first, the first thing we produced together, a documentary called It's Me, Hillary, is going to be produced, um, premiering at Sundance and working on a number of other projects. And we feel very connected to girls has allowed us to feel very connected to kind of what else we want to make. And Lena, what do you think your generation is bringing, well, I guess our generation is bringing to pop culture? Great question. I mean, I've been really impressed recently with how I think, I think uh, millennials, if you want to call them that, have gotten a lot of flack for being incredibly apathetic, but I think that this year they've really proven that they have a strong moral and political conscience, yeah. and that's been really exciting to watch. Between the midterm elections and, you know, the... If things get bad enough, I know, and the peaceful protests in New York around Eric Garner, it's been a very amazing thing to watch that passion come out of a generation that's typically labeled as dispassionate.